So I tried to go to sleep and God told me I needed to make a video today. And I was like, okay. And so I put together a playlist and he goes, no, -uh, that's not good enough. That's the easy way out. So he had a friend call me and wake me up and really push me to do it. So I'm just going to follow through. Um, he talked to me today through quite a few songs and then I was reading scripture all day. Like I focused on that mainly today and what I had read all day in scripture was confirmed by the songs this evening. So I wrote down what I got out of the songs and this is my interpretation of what he's telling me to relay as a message to you guys. Um, journey, don't stop believing. Um, we got some Tesla. It's not what you got. It's what you give. And it's the life that you choose, not the life, or it's the, not the life that you choose. It's the life you live. Like stop blaming it on your circumstances you were born into. You have the opportunity to change it every day when you wake up. Just change your mindset. Um, Chris Ledoux, this cowboy's hat. Um, groups of people need to stop just looking at each other and judging each other and not thinking that you could possibly have a lot more in common than you think. Um, and when people keep messing with your friends and loved ones, you need to stand up for them and with them. Um, and he's also giving a warning in that song. It says the enemy will try to provoke you and they will realize that it's not going to work this time because God's got you and they will back down. Um, I got the Almond Brothers, Soul Shine. And he says if it seems dark right now or if you feel like things are really dark, be the light in the dark because it's coming. Like, it's better than the moonshine or thing. Let your soul shine. Um, also, I got a message from that that's saying just don't hide yourself just because it makes it seems dark, like right now, because you're the only one. Like, stop. You're not alone, even though you feel like it. Um, let's see here. Then we got the Eagles that he promises to get us the best of his love. And it seems that the more love he gives, the less that we love him. Um, and we take him for granted. And his children have turned away from him. And um, it's about to be shown who his faithful ones are and who is not. And then, um, but we must, we must remember that we do not wrestle with flesh or things of flesh. Yeah. And blood that it is of the spirit realms and that we do not rejoice even when our enemies go down like that's not okay you just don't bless them and you do not um yeah don't bless them but don't curse them just say thank you jesus um for non-blondes what's up if things have been really crazy right now um, and you're just like, what is going on? It's because there's a shift. It's coming. Um, then I got Bad to the Bone by George Thurgood. And he's about to show them that the adversary, that he's not as bad as he thought he was. And he's also about to shine a light and make a lot of you guys look bad in the opposite way. Like, you're going to come back. You're going to be redeemed. Um... I also got Free Bird. There's a lot on this one, but it's a long song, so that makes sense. Um, by Leonard Skinner, The Shift. Um, get ready to move if it's not already shown up for you. Um, God does not change, and his promises do not change. The world changes. Um, you always stay faithful. You're going to have to leave some people in the past where they are. In order for you to move forward. And they're going to try to do things to keep you. And um, you just have to really use discernment and not get tricked. Because if you are not buckling down or if you are not grabbing hold on to what he's leaving in front of your face, you will miss it for now. Like you didn't miss it, but you missed the chance this time. So you're gonna have to wait till it comes around again. And who knows how long he decides to keep it that time? Because how many times has he tried to give it to you before that you missed the chance? Um, 
also I got that when those people try to do it, just be sure that you do not feel like you can feel bad. That's fine. But do not stay in that mindset. Like we both have the choice. There's two of you. He will take one. He will leave one. Um, you chose to do your work and heal and follow him and you get your blessings. The other obviously did not, or it's just not their time yet. And they're not that far in the process. Um, and the ones that are having a really hard time and just like, God, I can't change. God, I need your help. Like reach out for him and seek him. He's there. He does not turn his back on you, but do not continually go against what he's saying and be defiant against what he's telling you to do because eventually you're going to get a little bit of wrath for that. Like he, he disciplines us. We're his children and a father disciplines the child he loves. So that is what I got. There's a few other ones. Um, my prerogative, just make sure that you're not letting people tell you what's best for you just because it will suck for them for a little bit maybe and or it's something that they're not used to or something that they decided not to go for. So don't let them hold you back from that, even if it's unintentional. Like, just because they chose not to take that path or go that way, maybe that wasn't God's calling for them. It doesn't mean it's not yours. Um, and the initial little thing, like, whenever I got on here and I got really gently pushed to do it even though I was like I'm tired God he said keep going because he gave me the storm warning which was coincidence because it's storming tonight and then he gave me Jonah the whale which is not having enough faith and then trying to run and hide and not following through if he told you to do something you know if he told you to do something so do it and if not he will either gently guide you and if you decide not to do that then you're gonna keep getting the crappy end of the stick until you decide to do it. Um, we have free will, but that doesn't mean we don't have consequence. Like we have, our kids have free will. We can let them. We can give them two choices. They can either follow directions or they can get the consequences for not following the directions. So, um, that is what I got. Um, he said follow. The, I forgot. He said follow the ten commandments. Like be sure you are really, really digging into that, and just making sure which. Basically, he's saying just love each other still. Like, just make sure. Because if everything is done out of love, you're following the Ten Commandments. Just love one another. Don't judge them. Love them. Be kind and compassionate. Um, he says he will take care of the all the... Um, if there's any discipline that needs to be done, he will take care of it. You don't do it because then it will mess up your your thing you got going on and you don't want to mess up your name he'll handle it in a way you don't have to handle it someone he'll send someone to speak up for you or he will do it himself or he will wake them up in some other way don't worry about it you just keep following the rules <coughs> um what else the other one there was it's not too late to ever um idolizing other things he's really big on um, just the God thing. He is the one and only God. And a lot of people aren't going to like that. And, um, it's going to really stir a little bit. And he's going to make me have to tell <clears throat> my kids that over and over again this past week that, about the rules of the God. Only one God and we all are in the ground until he ascends down and sends the angels. Like, he's really telling me about that. But I believe I have to make a video. Um, I get to make a video to inform people. Actually, I really like looking up information and learning new stuff. And uh, he just happens to speak through me through music and that's how I can relate to people. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how to explain the Ten Commandments with that and a little bit of fun, actually. So that's all I have for now. Um, take it or leave it, I guess. He's He loves you guys. And he's letting you know your blessings are coming. So just um, hold tight. Keep believing. Don't stop believing.